Given the polynomial p of x we see on the screen, let's calculate p of 1. The way of doing this, and we've done it on another video, is just substituting where we find an x, a 1. But in this video, we're going to use another method. That is Ruffini's rule. And for applying Ruffini, what we have to do is this. Oh, in another video I explained the whole method, but right now we are going to apply it. We have the polynomial and we can see that all the exponents are in the right order, from the highest one to the smallest one. So, writing the coefficients of the x, this would be the coefficient of the x raised to the fourth would be minus 1, as it is minus x. The coefficient of the x cubed is 1. Of the x squared is minus 2. Of the x is 3. And the independent term, that is 1. Now, let's write the 1 we want right here. So, what we would, will find at the end of the method would be the final result. Now, this minus 1 goes down there, and we have to multiply it times 1, and that is equal minus 1. 1 plus minus 1 is 0. Now, 1 times 0 is 0, and minus 2 plus 0 is minus 2. 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. 3 plus minus 2 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1, so minus 1 plus 1 is 0. As we have a f 0 here, this is going to be the result for p of 1. That is, p of 1 is equal to 0.